What's happening, y'all? Chris Bonner here, Power Training TV, all things power related. Um, second part to the series that I made last week. Today I'm gonna show you guys lower body prehab. This is my general warm up. Um, sometimes I include a couple different things, but let me go over with you guys real quick. First and foremost, I start with a self myofascial release. I foam roll out my entire legs. I especially get the QLO down to the IT band, down the peroneals. Obviously, I'm laying on this and I'm doing it. I get my hip flexors, I get my glutes, I get my piriformis, cross the leg in the piriformis, and I make sure I just really break up that tissue in the leg really well, passively elongating the leg muscles, and then I'm gonna go ahead and warm them up. Then, what I do after that, and this is just for me, and if you sit a lot during the day, you might need to incorporate this. I go ahead and I static stretch my hip flexors two times each side for about 20 seconds. Soon as I get that done, I use either a broomstick or right now I'm using a PVC pipe and I go through a prehab type uh, mobility warm up. For me, for the kyphotic posture, I do a lot of the overhead uh, squats. So I'll just get in this, I'll just fire my glutes, sit back, push forward get really warmed up. After that, I'm gonna come right here. I'm gonna do a good morning. Really stretch the hamstrings. I'll do about 10 of those. And then I'm gonna do an overhead good morning. Really, really, really contract the mid traps. Um, get the pec minor loose and get the hamstrings involved. Soon as I get that done, I'm going to do a posterior chain contraction. Mostly as an athlete, I train movements. A lot of my movements when I'm running or I'm doing my lower body involve my posterior chain and synchronization. So the integrated movement that I do is just basic a basic reach. What I want to do is I want to reach out, contract all through back here, and then I switch. I go unilateral to really focus on the contraction. You can do a lot of different things with a Swiss ball, with other things. This is just something I tend to do. Um, the next thing that I do is going to be a core integrated exercise. I'm going to do a reverse lunge with a twist. So I'm come here. This is going to force couple my lower body through the trunk into my upper body and really work that integration out. After that, I might do, depending on um, what I'm working on. If I do some lateral movements that day, if I'm on the field, I might do some hip mobility. I might do some here, really just releasing the synovial fluid in my hip and getting really loose. I might do 10 rounds. I might do some kind of hurdles, something to really get those loose. Everything I do is about 20 reps and it's about two sets. By the time I get that done, I'm ready to go ahead and dive into my leg workout. Check it out, try it out. Chris Barner, Power Trading TV.